which isn't telling me no way. Hello. Oh Jesus, I just forgot. God damn it, I turned off my microphone. <laughs> the stream didn't hear anything I just said. <laughs> Apologies! <laughs> oh god damn it. Best caster. Now you have to redo it all. Yes, I have to redo it all. Apologies. <laughs> Welcome everyone to the Crucible. This is Season 10, Week 5. God dang it, I should really check the software before I begin. So what the Crucible is, it is an event where you sign up, I balance the teams to make sure that everyone gets an equal chance, and then everyone gets to duke it out for unique rewards and for the honorary title of being the best balance breakers of each week. So anyways... It's just a way to stay with, with you're too good for us, or you're too uh, good for the balance team. Or just simply didn't realize you were that good. Or the enemy's that bad. So, anyways, event is now live. And so we shall begin with the lobby timer. The famous map vote, which everyone forgets about until like the last second. Eh, some people are dedicated and actually vote on time. Though I'd so say. Like some people street, appreciate. People just, some people appreciate the dictatorship imposed by the suggested map list. I mean, it's Parrot and Rumble. It's a decent map to start with. If you don't run into the terrain, that is. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, it looks like what's well, a couple of pyramids already, meta medians even. Looks like both sides are starting off strong already for this map. I feel like I've forgotten something. Again. Yeah. What have I forgotten? Oh yes, the team names, of course. How could I forget? On the red team, we have Team Elephant. The German tank destroyer from World War II. Or just... German for elephant. I'd prefer the former. More. We all. Yes, the Mr. Catch on Fire for elephants. But anyways, Baritone it is. And 
and so we begin the lobby timer. Four minutes of waiting around, letting both sides figure out what they want to do. Well, it looks like one side's already ready. Or we'll ship at least. It's, it's only it. one ship, though. Yeah. Of note is that there were balance changes today. Yes, indeed. The skirmish version of the Tempest was changed a little bit to now have three shots instead of two, and each missile now contains seven munitions instead of eleven. Yes. And I think the shots are also faster. But the range is still the same, yes. Yeah, problem there? I assume it is. Maybe even more. Well, then you can just open up the the change log whilst we wait for teams to decide which ships they want. Oh, red team's already at it. And ready to rumble. Okay. Also, magnate. Right, Less hull. Less hull, yes, from indeed. 1, 100 HP to now 900. Yes, indeed. I feel like it's silly pretty strong, though. Especially, Especially if you ram with it. I guess. Everyone knows that ramming with the magnate is the best strategy ever. I, in fact, managed to prove that yesterday by getting seven ram kills with the magnate. Self brag over. Let's get back into the lobby mess, as it is two minutes left, basically. Now I remember teams, what I forgot. The team still seem to be sticking with the uh, Watcher Spire and Metahit. Seems the blue team wants to stall out the timer. But anyways, I now remember what I forgot. My chocolate. Most important thing. Yes. I can't stream without some snacks. I will be right back. Go <laughs> entertain the folks. Oh, shit. oh what? <laughs> I don't know what... Uh, I, this, uh, what? Okay, I guess I'll just. Uh, blue team is still sticking with the watching Spire and Metamidian eyes. I Actually, I do not be... think it's a good time to leave for some chocolates because it's one minute until match start. Uh, yes. Refereeing comes before chocolate. Same. Blue team's just right. gathering its thoughts. The I Jurassic like Park. I feel like that Watcher Spire would be pretty good here. Like, I know the Magnet is... Oh. Until recently, maybe, possibly, I don't know yet. Magnet was the strongest ship. But I feel like the Watcher Spire... And now like, they cannot change anything. It is too late. Yeah. And so... The last 30 seconds of the lobby. And now we shall begin with the first match of today. With Elephant against the Jurassic Bark on blue. Okay, interesting. And so, 
Match one begins now, and let's get into the ship callouts. Ship number one is the Futility, piloted by Finks. It is what a Metamidian with a side Banshee and a Flare. Ship number two is the Dawn, piloted by Crybon. It is a Magnate with a front Gatling flag, a mid deck Artemis Gatling, and a back. Watcher and Carinade Ghost take the other ships. I fetch my chocolate. Thank you. And on the blue team, we have a Watcher Spy piloted by Yggdrill. It's got a mortar at the front and a Gatling on the left and a Gatling on the right. And before we have the Dancing Together, it's a Metamidian piloted by Alpha Sierra. Uh, it's got. Oh shit, it's really stuck. It's got Gat. It's got Gatmart to front and Banshee Flare on the side. Right. Why the heck do I keep thinking about the chocolates when the action's already started and the dancing yeah, together yeah. has lost already half its perma? I just I think about chocolate. And goodbye. Oh. Yeah. That's the a first kill. The red, for red. just ran in alone, killed one ship, and has already damaged the spire. It's broken itself. Um, and I think Very that's close. a dead pyramidian. I would agree. Aggression? Oh! No. oh. Fire is broken. Whoa! And that's an armor broken pyramidian. This fire is completely out. It's now getting attacked by the red magnates, which has now decided to help its ally out after its ally brazenly charges in against two blue ships. Broken and taking a lot of damage. Still not dead. Not broken again. But there goes the futility's armor. Almost. Oh, I think it it's saved. Oh, no. <laughs> it just go. got saved. But that's a gat kill for blue, as yeah. red still is in the lead. Dancing together is running away. I think with the dawn chasing. And that's the edge of the map. There's no more running that direction, but it's moving north. Dawn is moving back as well. Uh, in chat, no detector saying a bit quiet. Quiet? Hmm. I am a bit quiet, apparently. I'll buff Discord audio one moment. 10% and... buff the all stats on cups. No, not on all stats, <laughs> just the audio. <laughs> you got a 150% buff. Enjoy! I hope my eardrums don't pop from the loud noises. Utility and Dawn have returned. Well, Utility has returned to help Dawn again. Imperial Legion is hiding behind buildings. Waiting for the opportune moment to strike, most likely. Waiting for the Futility to charge in like a mad lad again. Oh, no. Oh, let's see that next one. Yes, oh, that, and it's aggressive. happening again. Futility is being very aggressive. The Imperial Legion is from the Hellfire. And... Boop. Both, both blue ships are broken. But I think Futility is broken. No response for us. Oh, dancing together. Oh, but that's the yeah, Imperial Legion. Legion. Goodbye. And that's... <laughs> wait. So, okay. once another trade. Red team still in the lead, thanks to the brazen Pyramidian. Same situation as last time. It's a bit interesting. <laughs> yeah, except the dancing together has lost permit this time. And yeah. lost again. Here's some yeah. flags and here's yeah. some goodbye. This is a very quick match, not even five minutes in. Yes, and, and already... now I remember another thing I forgot to do. Steam, Steam notifications, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's going to go after. Alongside the chocolate. No, Tetra, I'm, le I'm legally required not to read that out. I understand. <laughs> and for the love of... That's an outdated <laughs> joke. Can we please <laughs> stop about <laughs> that? And my sanity. Yes, please stop. Blue team must swim back in. Red team now at a sizable two kill advantage. Yes. Yeah. Red has been spotted. Blue still hidden. 
And now they found them. Give a firing on the door, that's just kind of out of range. And the Imperial Legion doing the hide and seek tactic again. Goodbye. I think it will hide you up at this point. Yes. Yep. And then it will hide you at the door. And there's Mr. Angry Pyramidian charging the Imperial Legion. Gatling on Imperial Legion was a bit late, and Imperial Legion is broken, and this might even be it. This Dawn will be it. That was an aggressive round by Futility. Dawn is taking damage from Tails Kev. Futility is losing to Imperial Legion, is broken. And goodbye to the Imperial Legion. It is a brutal slaughter in favor of the Elephant Tank Destroyer. Five to two. Challenge, uh, what the heck are you doing? Wake up. I need to input some scores. Yes, thank you. That is the first match. I assume what we can use next. I don't have the channel to show. Hey Alpha, will you swap ship with me please? Yeah, okay, next we have Big Balloon Dogs and Elephant. So elephant this round and what you say one. And so, we are up with the second lobby battle, as it is currently the elephant on blue, and, 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 my memory is bad, the big balloon dogs, yes, on red. Now we are just waiting for them to gather up so we can begin this match. So everyone who is watching and who participates regularly. Remember, if I tell you that you don't have to play on the first match, it still means you have to gather up and be ready for the second match when the first match actually ends, so we can keep the everything flowing. Keep the action flowing, keep the breaks to a minimum, and everyone is here. Now, let us begin with the ritual, the holy ritual of map routes. That's not a map. God damn it, did I take the wrong chocolate? I did. <laughs> no. How you live with the wrong chocolate? I reserved the chocolate in my fridge to cool off. <laughs> and I took the other one of same make from my snack shelf. This thing's already like half liquid. God dang it. Where am I? 
What have you done? What have you done? Your heresy will not be tolerated. Yeah, you know. I, you might want to send him an in back. After match, after the match. In the meantime, so let me see if... They want both canyons. They want canyons? Yes. Yeah, canyons is fine. So, it shall be. Get back to the light, for God's sake. Quickly. This heresy will not be tolerated. Right, anyways, this lobby timer. It's now on. The boy do I hate melted dark chocolate. I mean, melted chocolate is just bad. Isn't it? I mean, even like when you like recool it after it's already melted, it still tastes bad. If only I'd actually taken the correct dark chocolate. <laughs> Wait, did I seriously not push the start button on the timer? The love of God. My clan is the Church of the Sky Mother. It's Hellfire's thing. And I joined it. Then why is he still in Rider? <laughs> well, he, I don't know. He's got his, he's got his other account. Of course he does. I mean, he's already asked me to try it, so I don't know how long it's gonna last. Where am I? Get back into the bloody light. I'm getting tired of sending invites to you. This burns the eyes! It seriously burns. Currently we are seeing a magnet. The Corsair on on twenty, which is quite a vicious combination. I feel like. And the Crusader. Interesting. What kind? Oh, it's a, something metal-like. But it's, it's a not really. It's an interesting crusade. I've yes. Never seen anything like that. I just hope they affix bayonets at some point. Oh no, it's changed back to the it's changed back to the meta now. Still, I hope they affix bayonets at some point, because that's the best maneuver to do on a crusader. <laughs> team's going with lenderfish. Well, both the bridge ships are a bit balloon big, balloon heavy. Yes, I think that would be annoying. But then the Corsair will be annoying to that fish. And deadly to the Crusader. A good ram and goodbye. I, I'd almost say the other way, I'd almost say the other way around. Other way around. You've seriously forgotten the times when um, our crusader got ram killed. I guess I'm good enough that I cover up my horrible well, tragedies well, with my crusader. What, I, what I'm saying is that this particular crusader might do okay against that course. Emphasis on might. I believe it will. Now it's certainly interesting to see experimentation occur in the field. Let's just see what happens when 
we win a little bit of a weak crusader makes a bit of a fast corsair. This will be... I think this will be an interesting one. I can't... I don't think I can, like, predict right the map he's gonna win. And ships are now locked. No changes for anyone. And now it is the time to begin match two of six. Now for the love of not this again, why are people readying up? Hmm. You force my hand again. You lot know this will happen at the moment. You decide to not ready up. In fact, I might start enforcing a stricter policy of the moment I don't see everyone readying up. It's the moment I'm pressing the force start. We need those uh, last second movement changes. Those are illegal. I mean, crew movement changes. Maybe. Mm. I, I admit that I am a that I am a perpetrator of that crime. That is a crime against humanity. It is complete heresy. And also, let's get into the ship call out. Ship number one. It is piloted by Marcel. It's a cr corsair with a front heavy carronade, side Gatling watches. Gatling squatches and the back harpoon. I remember the flamer being last time. Ship number two is the minty breeze pelted by the treasonous where am I? It is a magnate with the front Gatling Hades, mid deck flak Artemis, and a back watcher. What's that? A carronade? Get into the blue team, Ghost. On the blue team, we have the Sorrow, it's a blenderfish piloted by Finx. It's got right side flamer and left side double banshee. And then we have the Crucifix, piloted by Krybon. It's a Crusader, Crusader with Watcher, Carronade in front, and double Flax mid and double Gats pack. Whilst we've been chatting here, the enemy has been... Well, everyone's been fighting it out already, as the Great Baby loses armor. And two engines, and two guns, and the uh, whole oh boy. Soft is done already. Th two thirds of its power oh, are gone, and wow, the Soro bumping into the minty breeze. And first kill for blue. First kill for blue. The minty breeze now left all alone to fight against two vicious red ships, blue ships. What the heck am I talking about? Should not be multitasking. already ended. It's going to be another yeah. fast one, I believe, if this keeps up. Yeah, Blue team said, already. Uh, as I said, that Crusader will probably vicious against that Corsair. Well, this is canyons after all, so... Not a lot of room for Corsair to go brrr. I mean, there's a lot of uh, structures in the way for it to ram things, to. Yes, but... What? Whilst it's also a blessing, it also is a curse. The red team has just respawned. It's synchronized respawn. The thing is, I think Corsair is a big victim of pops, and since both blue ships both of them are victims of pops. What I would I suggest think, uh, to the red team a metamidian that might help against the. Crusader a bit. Well, the Minty Breeze has a, a rogue shoot, so it's still it's, it. it's still yeah. still a Metamidian is a bit safer, since right now Blue is 
in my opinion, now countering red. I would agree. Crucifix armor broken, but the minty breeze balloon broken. Popped. Oh, the ram from the sword against the great baby. Crucifix is broken. And the sorrow oh, now switching focus to Whoa. the great baby finally got the ram against Crusader. Yes, open area. They actually Sorrow. had room to ram. Sorrow is losing. No, winning. That was a strange carronade. Normally, you load incense after the po first pop. Normally. Mm -hmm. Wait, now I forgot to close the bloody curtains. What is with me in my memory? Sora is running away, Great Baby seems to be chasing them. As well as Minty Breeze. What? Hey, What's that? I going, but I think Sora is making it out. Alright, apologies now, I have a wild cat all blue, so he's now beginning to meow aggressively at me. Hopefully none of it appears on stream. Anyways, so has successfully managed to flee the oblivious red team. With very minimal damage as well. And a bit of damage on Great Baby currently. Both sides are equal, is what I would say, if the blue team didn't have an extra kill. I feel like the red team strategy is to get rid would be to get rid of the crusader as fast as possible. But that leaves the fish to retreat. Yeah, they would have they would be forced to fight in blue spawn for that strategy to effectively work. And that also means one but getting one kill every engagement and not losing one of their own is significantly better than uh, Well, yes indeed. But it all depends on the great baby getting a successful ram in. All the Minty Breeze just smashing to kill from range, which it seems to be attempting to do at the moment. But the goodbye to going. the balloon. Great Baby has lost its balloon due to Sorrow the Sorrow's pop. work. Oh, it's popping move. A lot of fire on both ships. Side Flamer is doing magic. The Minty Breeze armor broken, double broken in fact. Damn. Minty Breeze trying to go after Crucifix, but not working. Crucifix has lost half its health already. Great Baby is already ramming it again. And the Minty Breeze lost two-thirds of its perma. It seems both sides are having it wonky right now. Great Baby is broken. Crucifix is almost broken. Minty Breeze lost the balloon yet again and is getting cooked. Oh. And that's a goodbye to the Minty Breeze. Corsair, you better kill that Crusader a bit quickly now. Too late. Uh, they're doomed. I think, I think this is it for the great baby. This is a goodbye. Yes, two engines down, the armor is broken, getting cooked by the flamer. Once again, blue has too much balloon pressure for that ramming Corsair to actually work. Yes. For on the f second engagement, they only got lucky and managed to somehow get the crucifix before the Soro managed to pop them successfully. Already 4-1. Yes, last kill for blue. Wait, red, blue, blue. Also, uh, in chat, Koik is saying he would load incense to establish dominance. <laughs> dominance. So every uh, gad gunner that loads incense as well goes for dominance as well? Yes, of course. If you're not, like, if there's not 15 sacks on the hull by the time you're done, You've done the bad job. Fair point. But sadly, that assertion of dominance is not working out for the red team, which is currently losing. Granted, blue is low on prime on both of their ships. But, well, rather, only on the crucifix, the so only taking marginal scratches. Yeah, but it is a fish, so it. So it doesn't really need too much. Plus, fish actually have a lot of perma. Yeah, that's why. So. 
very it seems that red team is performing a flank. However, they should really act on it or not. They're going now okay. straight into the canyon. No flanks. Okay. Well, if blue team doesn't notice the red team closing in around the corner, it might work out for red. They just Sorry. blitzed the crucifix, but the sorrow is already onto them. Yeah, this this is going to be a good bite to the red team, I feel like. Yeah, this isn't going in their favor. Yes, indeed. Now Red is attempting to... What are they doing? And only now spots go out. As the Soro is spotted and the Crucifix pops the... Almost pops the Great Baby. Garnade goes out of arc. Watch is going out. They go... Well, if they ra oh, they missed. Oh, they missed. You see, those Corsair Rams not working out because of the verticality issues. And by the time they get their verticals back is the time the Sorrow pops them again, and there goes the armor. Almost. Great baby's broken. The Sorrow... Oh, but the crucifix. Armor broken. Flax, oh, flax completely miss. It's a good job of keeping the crucifix away, but it just leaves the sword. And the sword is already cooking the great baby. This is going to be a goodbye once again. It seems that the elephant team once again dominates the scene. And it's quite clear who the winner is now. It's the great baby is getting poked and that is a 5-2 what in favor of elephant load faster lead up oh it has it seems that well um ghost is having some internet issues welcome back ghost a minor crush well anyways it is a 5-1 to one in favor of Elephant, the blue team. And we shall be soon back with match three with the balloon puppy. No, wait, the Jurassic Bark against the big balloon dogs. Soon enough. And so, lobby number three, as we wait for which team to come back. The Jurassic Park team to come back. Which should be on red. Also, I do believe that Frostbound has fallen asleep on job. Not realizing that his lobby is over and he should leave. Please wake up or I'll have to resort to some extra things. Who's not leaving in this 
frost, I guess. Yes, it's frost. Mr. Pound. I'm already getting complaints to remove frost. And so it shall happen. Happen. Rather. Stop falling asleep! God dang it. I understand the crucible is not the most interesting event in the lobby periods, but Jesus, have some respect. I find the lobby the most intense part of the crucible experience. There, the Order 66 has been performed. Sadly, that was the only option. Now let us begin with the match. Timer. Difficult to believe, but two matches are already over. Yes. Demons were fast. It's now match three with Jurassic Bark on red and and big balloon dogs. Yes, dogs on blue. Oh, fast matches today. I wonder if this will be the same. Well, seeing how Elephant has been dominating the scene currently, Jurassic mm. Bark and big balloon dogs will have more. Evenly batched, matched battle, I think. Batched. Already we see double spire. Ah, the more guns is better formula. Yeah. Can't say I blame them. Oh, that's the last second kin fourth. Hmm. I was expecting few this. I don't know why people would vote for them. Okay. That's fine. For the future, everyone, I don't like that's fine. Either say, we vote for something, or don't say anything at all. Because that's fine doesn't really help me. Oh, wait a minute. I guess just switch to the Kinfall. No. Or, or is it on the rotary? Kin fourth oh, it is. is the sixth suggested. So no. Currently it will be Fernfeld because nobody realizes. That you can't vote for suggested maps that you will be playing on. So yes, sadly. It's my least favorite. Thing. I understand. It's made out of the fundamental principle that you can't play on the same map twice. Now, four minutes lobby. And we have had issues. Because I would allow teams to actually pick a s play on a suggested map, then reach the suggested map only to realize that it's been played on already and nobody else wants to vote for the map. And then there's an issue. Do I have to randomly re-roll the map again or something? Yeah, I sadly have what to... Happened? What happens to the maps we already passed? They just simply get ignored. Forgotten. What Forgotten. Mean, like... The ones that we don't play on. Or, I mean, the last map was Misty Mute. It was supposed to be Misty Mute, but it was Canyons. Does that mean? Yes, you can vote for that. You can vote for that. If it was the suggested map, well, the rule says in future tense, as in the maps you'll be playing on. You will be playing on. 
here. So yes, you can vote for Misty Mutiny if you really want to. Just remember to not vote for a map that has been played on, and the map that is going to be played in the suggested maps list. The double spine has switched to double fish. There are three fishes a field. If I was blue, I'd take a crusader. Crusaders are literally the material that goldfishes fear. It's one of them switched to a metamidian. Though magnates also function. Oh yes, metamidians. But I've seen competent fishes outmatch incompetent pyramidians. Not to com not to say that any of the fine folks here are incompetent. Mm. Although there is still the issue of a certain heretic who is still consorting with the fallen powers. Get your act together, where am I? Red teams realize the folly of their ways and not doing a double ship. Oh, no, they switched. Again? By the way... So, hold on a moment. Match. I think we need to remind them that they're supposed to mention ship change. In call of, in all caps for efficiency. There we go. To everyone watching, do not, for the life of God, not call out ship changes. That can get you in jail. On some watch list. Maybe even both. Not to mention being quite rude. And we shall be back with match three soon enough. The moment these people ready up. Now we've gotten into the phase of, let's not ready up at all, well, sorry, I still have to push the legendary buttons again. <laughs> the holy button needs to be pushed. Thou shall count down. By the count of three, thou shalt press the holy button. And I do believe we are already in the match. Oh wait, a moment, I forgot about a single thing. Speeding on, on a little bit too fast. And we are back. Let's begin. Ship number one, the memory piloted by Yggdrasil. It's a blender fish. Side Flamer, Side Gatling, and Side Flak on the left. Ship number two, dancing together, piloted by Alpha Sierra. It is Metamidian, Side Banshee with Flare. And on the blue team, we have the Guard of Dreams, passed by Melissa. It's the Archer Fish with side carinates and an aft flavor. Then we have the Water Frogs. It's a Metatrucker with fight by Wham. It's a Metatrucker passed by. It's a Metatrucker with side, uh, left side, um, double Artemis, front Gat, and right side Gatflak. Yeah, I messed that up. Last I remember. <laughs> Remember that not everyone in this lobby is capable of shooting Artemis with accuracy. Just be aware of that. 
not fool you. Yes, I understand. Though I don't call myself that great, as the water of frogs is now popped. Now being focused down by both red ships, I feel destruction is imminent, unless the God of Dreams yeah. actually performs its God duty. Yeah. Armor break, yeah. <laughs> the balloon is broken, Oh, goodbye. And only now does the God of Dreams come and help. So once again, eyes open. And now the Junker choice is a bit painful. As it just gets popped, and the Medimedian has grounds to bully that thing into submission. A popped Junker is actually vulnerable to a Medimedian. And Glenderfish. Yes, indeed. Uh, I feel like Blue Team took some. made some risky ch choices this match. And of course, the God of Dreams being forced to run the opposite side of the map where, our, where their allies have spawned already. Can they make it out? Dancing together, moving into intercept. Oh, that's a boop, and that's a double break. That's some mortars going in. That's another. No. They actually persevere. It's unlikely they make it out. They won't. Yeah. Memory's hot on their heels and popping them every time, and. Ran. Boop. Oh. Almost losing armor, but. But Water Frog's already firing back, and spotted as well. This might be a snowball. Yes, blue team, organize yourself a bit and make a plan. Because now I believe it is now becoming the opposite of what happened last week with Finks. Hmm. I guess. Oh, wait! Card of Dreams spawning in the middle as well. Not deciding to clear up the engagement, but. Dancing Fear is really spotted, but he's just ignoring, I guess. Well, it's the short the choice. Game. And the first yeah. engagement worked out for them to just simply target the water frogs and then just butcher them. Go to the dreams needs to act quickly now. Otherwise their allies dead again. Well it seems they are attempting to act as a watcher goes in. Watcher. The memory about to lose armor. About to no. The water frogs still pop double broken. But this time, I'm actually out of position for Red to actually do anything about it. Except that. God of Dreams trying to do something against the hero? That Watcherfish is. No. What's gonna do, Bias? A Metamedian counters a Watcherfish, and that Blender counters the Watcherfish. There's yeah, no way that works. I, I, I think losing just made poor choice. Yes. There's poor choice room. making in. For the blue team, as they are once again picking ships that they really should not be picking. I mean, I feel like Watcherfish could work against Superior, but definitely not Blender. Yes, and definitely I... not Blender. And Junker is generally just an or just useless. To be honest, Arthur's useless. Is generally, a risky pick against both those ships. Well, yeah. And it's already 4-0 in favor of Jurassic Park, the red team. Blue has respawned, ready to Just die a third time, or maybe actually kill the enemy this time. What the Guard of Dreams needs to be doing is actually getting close to them as fast as possible, because what our frogs is just getting annihilated, but then again, if they get too close, they'll get annihilated. And then there's the issue. They have to really stick close together and help each other out as much as they can. Because if one of them gets caught off guard, then it's over. Like what's about to happen right now. The God of Dreams once again out of position. However, the da dancing together is as well. Memory pulling off some stunts to show off to the stream. Appreciate it. Yes, indeed. God of Dreams actually gets a watch and dancing together. Two guns and an engine are down, but the Water Frogs Pretty is good. popped. 
It's good, but it won't be sufficient as once again the blue fish is out of position and red is just continuously pounding that poor old junker until it disappears. It's broken to the ground, I didn't see. Rybon, I have to be brutally honest so that people understand. Although, yes, I should maybe be a bit more understanding. But yes, this was indeed a sad display, a shameful display by Blue Team, sadly. Bad choices and, well, bad choices in both the lobby and the match leads to a carnage of a match. We will be back soon with match 4 of Jurassic Park Bark fighting against the Elephant Tank Destroyers. I like that name. I know. And so, it is now match four of six. We are into the second half as Jurassic Bark faces off against Elephant, the tank destroyers, who are only now coming into play. So it's match four, isn't it? It is match four of six. Does that mean it's the mandated union break? Or We don't have union mandated engineer breaks because everyone gets a bloody tiny break. Well, we have three teams, so one team always gets to sit it out. In the meantime, us loyal servants of the people must work forever and ever onwards, communicating our great stream towards the great viewers of this gr glorious event. Glorious. Now then, it seems that blue team, the elephants, got a broken transmission, or their engine caught fire. Perhaps both. I think it's both. Now I might have to start pinging some people. I usually do not ping, but when I do, you better get over here. Who's missing? A certain particular person named Long John Bukowski. And there's no sense in delaying the lobby over a single person. Two people is understandable, one is not. Cast your map votes, cast your map votes. This isn't the pre presidential elections of the USA. Fields. Immediately. Immediately. Someone's enthusiastic about them great fjords. Which is a valid vote. It is valid. I mean, any map is better than Jewel at all. Well, not Jewel. Um, 
What? Well, the jewel at dawn is just mini jewels. It has been extended a bit. But yeah. you can also say that about graveyard. And it seems both teams have decided upon fjords. Fjords it is. I'm sure. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it, in most cases, the teams will just agree on the map like that. Yes, but also, once again, yeah, stop at the vagueness. Of... Type there's out a, a name. A just type... a lot of popular maps. Yes, but seriously, type out a name. You don't be lazy. Copy something. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Less lazy, more actually doing something. And now, four match, four minutes, four match, minute, I'll be timer on. It seems that apologies are being denied in chat. <laughs> and, well, I won't either. You have time to do your things. You have a break before this, come on. Apology retracted. Was that a request for the apology retracted? No, that was a statement. Well... Someone's being defensive about the situation. Magnet goldfish. Judgment goldfish. Lots of fishing, but who has what? It seems both fishes are walking the blender, as it is three minutes left. Say that judgment is in the Yes, Duladon does indeed let you spawn camp quite viciously, but the map has been changed a bit. The area it's has been increased. Hard. It's a bit harder to spot on. Spot Just a you. bit. I mean, if. The popular consensus wants to, we can vote Dawn as... I mean, vote to remove Dawn from the map, map list as well. Right now, currently, only two maps are off limits. Which Jeez. is Dunes Graveyard. and... Graveyard. No. Really? No. Graveyard is a valid map. Yes. Whoa. It's one other map. No, that's Seriously, one. that's an SCS. I, don't, I know. I, I can't think of another map. It's a recent map. Oh, that gave it, of course. <laughs> and now that gave it away. Yes, indeed. It's Bat Cave. I'm yes, Bat Cave is legal should. currently. I'm seeing a Junker and a Judgment on the blue team. Although I'd say this uh, junker is a bit, might be a bit better at fish removal. What does this junk have? Oh, and banshees. Yes. Yes, this is a, this is quite an insane junker here, but it might work. Yeah. As time's proven, time and time again. Insanity works with the proper application of force and stupidity. I've got the fish metamidian and junk and junk. Justice for Bat Cave, eh? Not really. I mean, you can vote on it if you really want to, but a you vote suggestion. You can vote on it, but we will tell you no. I mean, vote in the crucible discussion. I mean, how difficult is it? Everything has been simplified to this point so that you lot can be lazy. Oh. I'll leave it to the people to decipher what happened in the background. What happened in the 
Was it your cat? No. Just something was on my computer and it was something that I forgot to do. Now, pilot. Ready up. It might be just barely noticeable. Or it might be completely invisible. Who knows? Ready the frig up already. Not this again. Stop making me make... Oh. Finally. When I say ready up, you ready up. When I say jump, you jump. When I say get out of my lobby, I you get out of my lobby. Or am I just blind? Say again. Yeah, nothing. Blindness is nothing to joke about. I Neither mean, is I memory am. loss. I mean, I am blind, so... Technically. Then how can you do ship callouts? Do you telepathically sense the presence of ships? Yeah. Well, I mean, your telepathy is already proven multiple times throughout my recording. Or at least my observation. Ship callouts. Ship callouts, not yet. The screen's not active yet. There's still a timer that I have to pop open and the stream to reactivate. And now let's do ship callouts. Ship number one is memory, part of bike thrill. It's the blender fish with side flamer, gut, and flak. Ship number two dancing together, the same old metamidian with the side banshee and flare. Not beating yet, Brave Ref, piloted by, I think it's a Junker with left side carronade, banshee, banshee front, and then mine launcher, banshee on the right side. Then we have the Steel Overseer, piloted by Frybon, it's a uh, it with Nemesis, laser. Artemis front and watch a harpoon on the back. Which has already been popped and is now under attack by memory. These matches are going too fast. They always start the battle before I finish. I'd rather have them really start fast them. as it's already. Oh, that's a. Oh, that's a, boop, that's a boop. That's a boop. That's a boop. Uh, that and fantastic. it's gone. And the, that brave ref was completely out of position. That. They weren't expecting the Spanish Inquisition. Uh, the I, think, I, I think just I think this uh, this red team is just so aggressive with their strategies. Yeah, they're, they're Actually, it Wait, is it no, it's backwards now. Now it's elephant getting wrecked. Elephant is now getting the taste of Blitzkrieg. Well, it is elephant. It is elephant doing the Blitzkrieg. They were doing the Blitzkrieg, except now they're tasting their own Blitzkrieg. I think the mines, the mines seem to be working here. For now, but that's another pop. And that's some cooking oil on the Brave Wrath as the timer goes down. Mine and... Oh, Tar! Thanks, you fiend! I think Finx was really ready for this fish, I'd say. Yeah, but still... Have you no honor? And goodbye. Apparently, lack of honor doesn't save you. Crybon at least deciding to stay put. Thus ending the plague of Finx's ally and Finx himself charging into battle for no reason and getting slaughtered. Red team already aware of where their competitors are. Though I have to say, it's most likely an obvious spawn. And that would be fine. Brave Steel Overseer is already popped. It's almost popped. And now it goes in. Memory being overtly aggressive again. And he's sweeping over. And Boopa Mine. 
Memory, armor broken. Another mine pops up. Dancing together now pops up to help its ally out, but oh! oh memory is taking a lot of damage from both mines and the nemesis shots. Well, that's what happens when you charge alone into the enemy territory. And memory's dead, that's it. Ah, uh, they blitzkrieg too hard against the blitzkrieg masters. Yeah. So once again, do not charge in by yourself. Don't it's not a smart idea, especially if. Dodge most fine. Well, the fish can dodge, but there are mines. I mean, I mean the pier is in a good position to dodge most of the time. Or was. But now it has to run, run like the winds, and is there moonshine? The captain Thanks. is not even using uh, kerosene to reverse. I'd say that's a foolhardy endeavor that will end in disaster. And the nemesis finally hits. Wait, did I really say disaster? <laughs> disaster. Port now of disaster and catastrophe. According to Jack, according to Jack, we said rave breath at some point. Well, maybe just me. I'm actually interested. The Urban Dictionary states a combination of the words disaster and catastrophe, indicating a very serious and very tragic event. A tragedy of epic proportions. There you have it, folks. Yeah, a disaster. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. Except this time I wouldn't actually classify it as a disaster. Though I guess I'm not the first to create that word. And any other mentions? Yeah, I'm seeing the same thing all around. Red team now going on the flank again as the memory once again dangerously far away from its ally. It seems the blue is onto their antics. Memory looks like it's trying to go for a flank through the clouds. But once again, Memory, you're just too far away from your ally. That Vidavidian might not have the best pilot, but... A ship to help you is better than no ship, and... I hope they wait... Oh no, of course they're charging in again. <laughs> Look... I know that Rommel did the same thing, but he got lucky. You aren't getting so lucky right now. But maybe they might actually get lucky this time. Oh, the steering wheel overseer is its back, and there it goes. The watch yeah, it goes in. Good but... minds going in on the dance together. And there go the banshee spam as well. And the armor is about to go down. Oh, boop. Memory boops, Brave Wrath, and mine. Memory loses armor. Steel Overseer facing off against Dancing Together loses armor, gets Marcher to face. Brave Wrath seems old. Goodbye, Steel Overseer. You got you got too many mortars to face. Brave Wrath popped. Now going slowly down into the abyss. Though, no. mines still going out. I'm betting Hellfire is having a good time with those mines. Oh, that almost. Oh, that was completely off Ooh, on my screen. On my screen, it looked like they almost mined themselves, but sadly, that didn't happen. Steel Overseer now decided to spawn in rather than wait for the ally to respawn. Red team may be aware of it now. Oh, yep, yeah, they're aware of it. Look at the blitz. Uh, yeah. Look at them Blitzkrieg! Memory already rushing it. Brave reference to spawn now, in order to help, uh, help at all. Well, they will spawn there soon, and there they are, but that's already Blitzkrieg. Will they, will they get enough mines out in time? Well, memory doesn't get the pop. Either someone noticed before that happened, or um, someone missed their carronades. 
Nemesis fire yeah, breaks the armor. Well, almost down to half health. But, but the Metaminion arrives to point. help, and oh, Army that's broken again. mortars too early. Now fire the mortars. <laughs> And the Steel Overseer, goodbye, yeah. it's Red Team. Blue Team, sorry. The Blitzkrieg just stopped. Barbarossa failed. I, I, like, the, I like the mind strut they had, though. That was, that was interesting. There was some good yes, Hector, I like my World War II references. This is World War II incarnate, basically. Yeah, we're about to do here. Look! It wasn't my idea to have one of the teams start off with the name Elephant. But hey look, now we're actually reenacting World War II. Elephants of the Germans charging in, getting a few victories, and then getting attacked back themselves. Yeah. Now, Elephant now is to face off against the big balloon dogs. But in what order does everyone go? Elephant to red. Hmm, that's an interesting link there, AZX. You should be wary of what that link does, especially since that link is available in weekly information. Except without a tiny detail that you have serendipitously revealed. That's me mumbling around and conveying useless information that nobody will care about. I don't even know what you're talking about. That's the point. Now, and the world is. Clash at Black, Black Cliff is the next suggested map. Yes. So we are back. Everyone's still gathering up on blue. In the meantime, we shall prepare for the map votes. By the way, where am I? I do believe that your lucky charm was actually cooperation with R and D. And now that you've abandoned your lucky charm, you've been losing matches. So. Please, come on back to R&D and, well, we'll act like this never happened. And, Sage, what are you doing? The observation oh. post is reserved for observers only. Oh, no, Texas, I would like you to not post a sponsor. No, 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 we don't like that sponsor. That sponsor is known for disingenuous tactics of commercial works. I don't even I don't even get revenue from it. See Your own product and you don't even get revenue from it. No. That's some illegal stuff right there. Seems that now we're getting into the phase that nobody cares about the maps anymore. Hmm. Oh, good maps are left. Graveyard. I said good maps. 
relic. Ah, uh, yes. Derelict. Yes, derelict. Oh. But nobody had a decision to actually think of that. So we are sticking with Blackcliff as nobody has voted for anything. Four minutes on. And now we wait. It is now the first appearance of a Stormbreaker. That's interesting. Yes, that website is amazing, except the foundational concept of it is a bit... ...flawed. Why don't you make a website about Borealum, for crying out loud? Can Borealum. Every week? Actually, I'm interested. Oh, there is none. I was thinking, was there a borealum.com? Or maybe there is a... There isn't even that one. Saddening. Extremely saddening. Actor, it's a juicy product because it's wet. Water. It's water. It's literally water. <laughs> Why do you call a water based product juicy? Wait, why are we talking about a product? Now that is. Not allowed to be talked about. Okay, we got... Let's change the topic. Two magnets. Let's, we got, let's switch to the lobby. We got two magnets. Yeah. And the Stormbreaker. Yes, an interesting issue about Stormbreaker. That Watcher Fish will mess it up good. I feel yeah. like Blue Team's now once again going to get shafted. It's a Crusader. Was pinging me. Stormbreaker swapped to Corsair. Seriously? <laughs> oh no. It's almost a repeat of the. I have been sent word that you can get Borealum.com for less than a euro. Well. If only I knew what to do with it. Mm. Oh, it was 22 AG? Jesus. Why? Interesting matchup here. Maybe, maybe not. Let's remember the last time this happened against the Blender Fish and Crusader. That is true. This Crusader has taken a new note. You say? Oh, it's Lumberjack yeah. this time. Yeah. This is more of an open map, so maybe they can get the Rams in if they. Oh, it's probably here. Yeah. No, 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 I don't... ...related to that. Also, where am I? Get back in the club! Get back in the clan. 
Your good luck has vanished. Now come back to the R&D and get some glorious blessings of the Emperor and Borealum. Now, hopefully, the teams do not engage each other. Before we just go. But well, just let's yeah. hope that both teams don't engage each other by the time we actually manage to get ship call outs well, in. We do have the Masters of Blitzkrieg on our side on, our, on this match. Ah, Elephant. Yes, let's begin. Ship number one is the Soul, powdered by Finks. It is Blenderfish with Side Flamer, Side Banshee, and Banshee. I can't see anything because of these graphic settings. Who made them? Ship number two is the Crucifix, piloted by Crybon. It's a mixed range crusader with a lumberjack Artemis and Pew Pew Laser on the right, and a Huacha Gat. Flack and Gatling on the left. And on the blue team we have the Great Baby Proud by Mosin. It's a general corsair with a carinade up front, a mirrored Gat Watcher on the sides, and a Poon on the back. And we have the Minty Breeze, piloted by Where Am I? It's a magnate with a the Hades Optimus carinade on the left, and the Gatling Flack Watcher on the right. I hear dog noises. Yes. I have a dog. Someone's happy to see their master, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe there was someone at the door. Or just someone walking past. They say... Tico mentions that you know a thing or two about spontaneous website creation. Could I maybe hire you for work on Borealum? Are going out and also, the Hector team. is mentioning that you don't get any revenue because A, there's no revenue, and B, Hector made the page. Oh, no. I've already called no text to my PR manager, so I'm not. Maybe it's just my manager in general. And I just pay him too much. How dare you! He's stacked for life now, that you've paid him that much. I pay him 100% of our revenue. Yeah, he's now fixed for life. Now he doesn't even have to work a day anymore. But great baby, he seems to be going for a sneaky flank. This is... This and is the Minty Breeze is... Uh, this is going to be beautiful if they pull it off. Uh, you can do them. it. You can do it. Like Believe in the heart of the... No, no, they're not. And they failed. Dramatically. The terrain is not proper for their flank, as they've lost two guns in an engine. Minty Breeze now pushing up to cover ground. It was an ambitious move, and I liked it. But oh! Bump! Bump on the crucifix! Armor broken. Flags go in, oh, and... and... Oh. and... Oh, almost... and... But the Minty Breeze is losing to the Sorrow, the Great Baby can make it back. Well, Great Baby, now's your chance to show your light, show your ramming prowess, and oh, goodbye to the Minty Breeze. Well, Corsair is a bit of a brick, so it's a bit slow. But when it hits, it hits like a yeah. brick. The, it's the idea of lobbing bricks at things until they die. But now they are doomed, I believe. That brick was a bit off. And that brick got its legs cut off. Wait, the bricks even have legs? <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> I guess they don't. Nifty Breeze is spawning in. And so is the crucifix. Both. Crucifix Both the killed in. ships are now. Oh, the sorrow bumps terrain. Sorrow is double broken. 
Where's the back harpoon? Oh no, no back harpoon. Great baby armor broken. And popped as well. Magnate, kill him fast. Oh, but that is going to be dangerous. Oh, and great baby. And great baby has lost balloon as well. This is something similar to what the previous engagement was, except this time... Great baby losing armor once again, nearly dying. They're likely going to go down. Is the armor broken? Going in. Not armed, but they go in. A little bit more Gatling work, and goodbye. And the synchronized go. Watcher from the Great Baby. The Great Baby's not looking good. Hector mentioning, and yeah, that's why I'm sitting around watching instead of hosting. Is it because you've now gotten the thick stacks of dollar dollar bills from <laughs> the products that you have sold now? Of course. And now Hector is tired of volunteer work for the honor of the Crucible. Instead now sitting on that thick Bill Gates levels of money. He's got like a throne but it's made out of like... Money. A hundred euro bills. No, gold coins. Like ancient Spanish coins. <laughs> oh. Maybe red team sees where blue team is. Blue team does not see where red team is. Can they? Can red team take advantage of this and do a bit of magic? Perhaps attack to the Ardents. Hades. Slightly miss. But Artemis does indeed hit. Watcher and flag down on the Magnate. But that's armor damage on the Crucifix. A bit. Lumberjacks go out. Minty Breeze getting near popped. Currently, Crucifix is sitting safe in a long range, oppressing its enemy with a bit of lumber. Yeah. So Blue team needs to get their act together, cool. and preferably with the Corsair starting to ram something. For it's too late, and it's too late. I do believe this engagement is in favor of red. Minty Breeze double broken. Hector, we all know that you aren't sponsor sponsoring because, well, you really love that money, and you don't want to lose a single coin of it. Anyways, back to the action. Minty Breeze popped again, and almost getting double broken again. It cannot fight back against the Crucifix, which is currently raining down balloon pressure like there's no tomorrow. Probably because there isn't. Great Baby also getting cooked alive. Minty Breeze popped again. The crucifix is lashing out with the pain, and there goes a watcher inside the great baby. Only wait, taking out three guns though. And now it is alone against the sorrow, as it will now take a punishment. But Minty Breeze taking the opportunity to attack crucifix. Crucifix fleeing for its life with a bit of moonshine. Breeze. Crucifix behind the and boop goes the crucifix's armor. Watcher goes in. Only scratch it. Minty breeze dangerously out of position as it is way too low, and that's goodbye to the great baby. Two to three in favor of blue still. As they also still have the first kill. Minty breeze, get out of there. You're now screwed. Although I doubt you will survive this section. Team is getting very lucky this round, I don't think it's gonna last. 
Yes, Hector prize money does attract everything, but you're just too greedy to share it with us. Admit it. This minty breeze is now getting attacked from two sides, and that's a goodbye. Your minty era has been finally cut short. As the red hot sorrows cooking cooking oil actually makes its effect. Ray baby has respawned somewhere. Red team didn't take too much damage at engagements. Only a tiny scratch mark on the crucifix from a little bit of watcher. Yes. That's it. Both teams are tied, but blue team has the point advantage. Are we now watching the battle for Moscow? Maybe. Or battle of surroundings of Moscow. As it is currently the apex with both sides not doing good. Will we see like a? Will the fight? Will the final ma ma match be like a Stalin or something, or like a Battle of Berlin? Both sides arrogantly rushing towards each other. Well, this is the last match of Team Elephant. So uh, perhaps we are watching the battle for Berlin. And the Soviet offensive being stalled to a crawl. Probably because they busted out those overpowered Tiger 2s. And the Volkssturm. And their Panzerfaust. Bloody overpowered. Well, like, nerf that. It's annoying. Especially Ostruppen. What was the, uh... The, the tank that... The German tank that shot, like... Humongous shells that were basically rockets. Um, Sturmtiger. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah this Great baby Sorrow getting popped and popped oh, again. The sorrow pushing punishment. It the sorrow is on the Great Baby, which is preventing them from doing anything as a double break occurs on the Great Baby. Mm -hmm. They cannot do anything with that fish annoying them. The degrees is too far behind to really help much, but they Pardon? are breaking sorrow. Great Baby, well, is currently a bit too hyper aggressive, and Minty Breeze just can't do enough oh. against the sorrow. As the sorrow kills the Minty. Um, the great baby, yeah. and we will say goodbye to Minty Breeze shortly. But maybe we could get killed on the crucifix before then. They won't. But, uh, this ends. Oh. Yeah, they're moving too far out, isn't it? Minty Breeze, you were just a tad bit too useless this match, sadly. There was a good final watcher at the end, but they didn't do enough. It was too late. Elephant wins yeah. with a. Barely 5 3. It was an interesting engagement at the beginning because blue team seemed to be winning. But now the chronology is getting ruined. more points despite the fact that they were losing most of their battles. They only managed to pull off by luck. Big balloon dogs now in serious trouble as they now have to. Well, this is their last match. This is the last match of this crucible, by the way. And we will be back soon enough when both teams are ready to begin the final match. The one that decides the fates of this glorious conflict. We will be back soon.
and we are back on Richard's favorite map. Probably because he made it. I like this map. Although it's a bit... It's a few issues with terrain. Some, uh, clipping issues, I remember. Yes. Some and... Noodles. Someone deciding to eat noodles mid-match. Oh, uh, yes. Things. Sadly, the noodle eaters, or rather, luckily, the noodle eaters have left. Now where am I, for the love of God, return back to R and D? Yes, Black Hand <laughs> knows exactly what the issue is. R and D brings good luck to those that that actually try. Who's our sponsor for this? Does it raid channel engines? No, no, no. It's of course the one and only product that we can't yeah. get enough of. The unnameable. Yes. To know this product, you have to know it. To know this product, you basically have to be in this community. And know me. Alpha, what the heck is that product? I don't want to see it's just infuriating, strange and odd. I don't want to call it out on stream. It's that obscene. Double squid. Balloon dogs, whom is missing on your team? It seems um, to be a person. They are missing someone. Crocs it's our scrapper. Currently has a zero percent win rate. That's why you come back to the clan. There's only a fifth invite I've sent you today. Get back over here this instant. You shall receive luck if you actually. Why did I not turn on the timer? You get luck if you return back to R&D. Oh no, he's done it. He's done it. The product has been... No. Quick, cover it up. Cut to commercial, cut to commercial. Do anything about it. Oh god. Glance at double squid. I want to see a double squid. We're gonna. The fourth iteration. Um. And that was a word from our sponsor. Red alert. And anyways, we are back with the match. Map votes are over. And Kinforth it is. The last lobby timer of this glorious event begins now. Oh no, we lost the squid for a goldfish. No, I'm sad. Hector, skill is granted by the title of R&D. Wait, no, Sage, why do you have that button? <laughs> now, why? Don't push that button, I... If you do, 
If you do. That's the end of Crucible. Also, <laughs> Crack, I'm not Bears. spamming clan invites, and he should really come back to his rightful owners. Oh, wait. No, um, cut to commercial again? No? Oh, wait. Right. Because we didn't cut the commercial yet. Oh, what you did? That button's screwed up. Anyways, we shall continue with the. Where am I? Your luck has run out, and your skill is also bleeding out. Crocs absorbs your skill. It it attaches to your skull and it drains the skill out of you until nothing's left of you but a broken husk of what you were and then you will only stare in the distance and only and never realize of what you are doing wrong you have to rip it off of your skull you have to show the grotesque attachment that you are the boss that you are the true leader of your body well anyway we have a now. You have to show the annoying <laughs> parasite. <laughs> oh, is that a crusader? Uh, this is a crusader. Yes. They are attempting to copy their enemy strategies. Although there's time. a pyramidian this time and they'll actually have better yeah. luck. In my opinion. Blue team now is actually faring better than well. The red team did in the previous match. Since, you know, they're actually adapting to their enemy strategy instead of just sitting idly by and just waiting for stuff to happen. Double here. A wise choice. Now they'll just simply bash that and bash that crusader's front plate in until it will vanish into oblivion. Change to a storm breaker again. Whatever they do, it's 15 seconds until ships are locked. I find no. Final match ship lock is in five, four, three, two, one, ding. I think this would be interesting. Well, go you've said that for the last few matches already, and some of them, I should say, weren't that interesting. They were okay. I think. Some of them were, but. <laughs> The first one you said was going to be interesting turned into a 5 0 slaughter. Yeah. I'm just and liking the I'm just liking the ships and see and I wanna see how they'll do. We shall see soon enough. Ready up you lot. It's the final match and it's the final No, I'm tired of waiting. You start now. I just wanna want see that storm break. You shall see the Stormbreaker in action. Should not have done that again. Okay. Well, that was a fast loading. Did not expect to see that fast loading. Let's prepare for something else. Let's get into ship callouts. Ship number one, the good Juju, piloted by Melsen. Stormy Breaker with Side Watcher, and other side, Cat Double Banshee. A wise choice. Ship number two, Skyboat, piloted by Where Am I? It is Crusader. Watcher Gatling Flak on the left, right. And left has a Lumberjack Artemis Hades. Hades? Why not the Pew Pew Laser? Uh, on the other side, we have Roman numbers. Something. I'll try to find no Roman numerals. One moment. Twenty thousand fourteen. Okay. One moment. But it's a pyramid with 
cats, double banshee, and the flare on the back. And then we have Donsko, which is a meta medium pirate for Alpha Sierra. It's, it's, uh, it's got a cat mortar in front and banshee flare on the side. Converting the number, it is 2014. So I'm apparently a thousand, and I guess that's when yeah. Finks first. F Wait, no, that's not Finks. Ichthril. That's the first time Ichthril must have flown this thing, I guess. No, not the under the crawler strategy. Not this. Uh, at least they're just passing through it, instead of from like someone who likes to eat their noodles under that thing. I was a. F I think I was a couple. I think I was about eighteen thousand. Numbers off. Yes, you are. You are indeed 18. What are you doing there dancing together? This is not the time to eat noodles. <laughs> well, at least 2014 has been spotted. The G2 is also spotted. Stop hiding under there. It's cheap. Red team has been spotted. Blue team is half spotted. Looks like the sky boat is going to take a more defensive long range position. Which makes sense. Got a number. Good Juju might come in for like a surprise flank. No, they're just waiting for the enemy to brazenly charge in and yeah. then just flank them. I don't know if blue team is going to be very aggressive here. Mm, they're moving in. The moon shining in here. And yeah, okay. There's a lot, they have a lot of cover to take, that they can take here, so that's good for them. Hunting together is a bit disconnected. Disconnected? Did somebody disconnect? Never mind. Well, I mean, 2014, like, now getting to meet the good Juju. Face to face. Okay. Watcher, face to watcher, watcher, watcher. Watch successful, but the sky boats is of course getting molested again. Yeah. Oh, apologies for the language. First kill for red, red, blue. Pro tip, where am I? Never take a crusader against two pyramidians. It's a death wish. And now blue team is going to mop up the good juju for having an ally that sadly is out of... It seems that now team Big Balloon Dogs is now disconnected from the universe. So they do not realize that they should see... Oh, boop. Oh. I would actually argue against the fact that Crusader is bad against Pimelo. Crusaders are bad against Medimidians, for the simple fact that once you, well, Pyramidians can reliably dish out damage. Let's leave yeah. it at that. And I'm two Pyramidians push. charging at a Crusader, well, it's just going to be a demise. Oh, two ships, two ships charging at the Crusader, two any ships could charge at the Crusader. And, like, yeah. But I don't know, I think. The Crusader could disappear well within a 1v1 at least. I think that's biased because you've been flying with me all the time. No. I no, it honestly just... feels like it. I've I seen Metamidians in Alta Part. I fly on the Crusaders. Yes, I know, but. I honestly still don't believe that, as the Skyboat once again says goodbye to his armor. And mm. soon enough, it's very existence. Bye. Yeah, I <laughs> <laughs> Hector! <laughs> no, that's a sick burn. Where am I even <laughs> adjusting? <laughs> you skill to match his clan. Amazing. Oh my lord. <laughs> Hector, calm the heck down. <laughs> I don't think the Stormbreaker is really doing enough to help this match. Well, of course. 
Like, most of the time, it's just out of position. Hector, how dare you? How dare you? The good juju is not escaping this, most likely. Though they are doing ring around Rosie, which seems to be effective. Could escape, but I don't know if this is the right one. Skyboat's falling back in. Maybe I'm a Well, they want another piece of the Pyramidian pie. And they're not going to get anything because. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. It seems that the Pyramidians are now focusing. No, 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 no. no. It's all head full against the sky boat. They really they want that Crusader. <laughs> well, they can't stop it. That's the worst part. Skyboat yeah. literally lacks weaponry to deal with that mess. Weaponry. And not to mention the fact that their Lumberjack is completely and utterly useless against the Pyramidians. But, oh. 2014 yeah. loses armor. And he's now getting attacked from behind. Banshees go in. Armor goes... Balloon goes down. Armor almost. Armor goes by. But the dancing together is also losing armor. It yeah, seems... Wolf. Too fast at 14. Red team now actually managing to stand their ground. Dancing together is bad. He's been double focused and dead. Go. Blue team, you have failed the rush. B. Too fast at 14. Let's see. You failed to rush B, but the skyboat survives. Boops the terrain. A shameful display as 2014 will die at the hands of the Stormbreaker. They would have survived that had it had the terrain, meddling terrain, and bumped them. Do you honestly think I wouldn't? No, no, no. That's not how things work. Where am I? You will now see your glory and your bad luck spree. Impressive. I, I saw a banshee shot come out after all the, after all the guns die. You did? Yeah, I don't know where it came from because I, I looked in the kill field. So the, the ghost banshee. <laughs> Unless, like, flare does enough damage. The ghost banshee. Instead of the ghost division, it's the ghost banshee. The go single banshee shot that managed to kill the crusader. Or maybe. No, maybe it pooped the terrain 100%. That was no ghost banshee. They are the ghost banshees. Both pyramidians now on the hunt. They might, they might have just come from the, the stormbreaker now. Stormbreaker. I just didn't notice. Mayhap. Dancing together, now spotted. 2014, not spotted. Oh, spotted. spotted. The good juju is not. It's currently in a good flanking position, but dancing together being quite arrogant. And wanting to get the... They do the same tactic, I don't think the strong rake can help. Well, for well, maximum uh, efficiency, they they do both of their... 2014 is coming in from behind, but... Red team is moving, moving out back onto the stance. 2014. <laughs> the flanking doesn't work if your ally is getting toasted. But oh, that boop! Dancing together is broken. Not much of that. Oh shit! It's lost most of its armor. But there goes 2014 against Skyboat. Yeah. It is a demise for that thing, most likely. As the good juju also. Oh. Which ship died? I think it was uh, Crusader. I saw it lost like. 
Well, anyways, everyone, that has been Crucible. Season 10, week 5. Remember to sign up for next week for more glorious action, rewards, and riches beyond your wildest imagining. Dies. And remember, may the balance be with you. And this has been the Crucible. Once again, sign up. I would like to see a 14 Crucible once again. Oh, it's someone's already calling for vacations! How dare they! Oh no. No vacations. Go like my most loyal sign up. Hear that? Ghost needs you. I need you. Sign up. That's an order. Anyways, take care everyone. I hope everyone had some fun, and at least got to learn something new. And see you all for next week. Bye. Until next, next time.